we have to remember, though, this is a single case. Uh, there are still some unknowns in this case and where it's going to go in the future. Uh, but it, it really does provide some hope that uh, we might be able to cure, in specific settings, we might be able to cure infants who have HIV. There was a single adult case uh, that has been advertised as a cure. That case had to go through a bone marrow transplantation to, uh, to get to the cure, so that's not something that's going to be universally applicable. Uh, this baby, however, received standard antiretroviral medications very early in the course of this uh, 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 event, uh, and that is something that may approach feasibility, maybe not on a large scale, but certainly on a much bigger scale uh, than bone marrow transplantation. By and large, most women in this country who are diagnosed with HIV infection either before or during pregnancy get put on uh, triple drug therapy, aggressive therapy, during uh, the risk period for that child. In uh, the rest of the world, where resources are limited, uh, that's not the universal policy at the moment. A short answer to your question is this is probably much more applicable to the infant setting where we can intervene very close to the time of infection. But it does have some implications for adults and if they can figure out ways or if it could be figured out how to diagnose early in infection and intervene early in adults, there is the possibility that a cure or at least amelior ameliorating disease uh, could be affected. There have been some recent studies uh, which have looked at more aggressive prevention regimens, three drug regimens, and that's what this pediatrician used. But it's not mainstream yet. We may see rethinking of uh, the guidelines uh, because of the studies that have been done in this particular case. I think as well as the authors have some degree of skepticism realizing again that this is a single case, realizing that we have to follow this infant uh, for much more time uh, to be sure that there isn't reactivation of disease, that we have to continue to, to do very cutting edge, sophisticated testing to look for the virus in this baby. In the United States, I believe the CDC projects uh, in the range of two to 250 uh, infants will be born with HIV infection every year. In the scheme of things, that's a small number. For the mother-infant pair who happens to be one of those 250, it's a big deal. If we could uh, prevent that in the United States, uh, that would be a major accomplishment. Two years ago, uh, we formed a new committee, which we call the Cure Committee. Uh, so we have a group of about 20 people who've been recruited to this committee with expertise in this area um, whose job is to think about what it would take to uh, get to a cure in the pediatric setting uh, and think of ways to test those hypotheses uh, which in our setting is through clinical trials. So I mentioned to you we have a cure clinical trial that's in development. Uh, believe me, it is now on a major fast track to try and get out in the field. A lot of the work we're going to be doing over the next month, uh, both here in the United States and my colleagues internationally, are going to be to try and uh, converse with our clients, our patients that we take care of, to try and uh, uh, give them an understanding of what happened and what that means for them personally.